In this video we will add local storage for our interpretations. So far, our application performs the basic create read update delete operations. However, if we reload the page the data is gone. We want to add it to local storage. In the onSubmit quote function we enter local storage dot set item and set interpretations to the interpretations array. Local storage only handles strings, so we need to convert the object into a string using JSON stringify. Now when we submit the quote we open application and can view that the values have been added to local storage. We need to retrieve the string from local storage. So we create the method get interpretations. We need to check if there is input in local storage, so we use an if local storage dot get item interpretations is equal to null we set this interpretations to an empty array. Else, if there is data in local storage on interpretations it will equal the value we get from local storage, which is a string, so we use json parse to convert it from a string into an object. Inside the ng on init lifecycle method we call our get interpretations method. Now if we reload the page we can access the posts from local storage and they are output to the page. If we create a new post, it is added. Note the id is 1 as well, we will fix this in the next video. We copy and paste the local storage code from add quote to on edit quote so that when we edit the quote it will also be updated into local storage. We also do the same thing for the delete interpretation method. Now our CRUD application works with local storage. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.